Now look, I could complain that truck driving is hard. I could complain trying to make money on the side is hard. I could complain about it. You know, I could be like, well, damn, like, you know, it's hard getting up at two in the morning, you know, trying to hustle up money or just trying to do other shit outside of shit. Personally, there are two things that are important to me that get me out of bed. The first one is financial freedom. And I've been fighting for that shit so long, I don't remember when it started. I mean, I've always been a person that liked the idea of saving money. But, unfortunately, life has a way of taking money out of your bank account. (laughs) Whether it be shit with your mom, shit with your dad, shit with your people, family, significant others. Like, okay, put it this way. Everybody's not going to get up at 2 a.m. to work. You know what I mean? To make money. Everybody's not going to do that. And I don't, I try not to ask that of other people. You know what I mean? Try not to make motherfuckers try to think like me. I think like me, and that's why I do it. You know what I mean? The second one is fitness. I live and die to lift weights. You know what I mean? I used to not live and die to lift weights, but somewhere down the line, it feels like if I stay at the gym too long, I, I feel like I'm missing an opportunity to better myself. The only thing I kind of get mad about when I think back on it is that I didn't start this shit sooner. You know, I think that's the one thing about my 30s I do regret is that it took me getting here to understand what it takes to get somewhere else. You know what I mean? From my 20, I would say from my from 19 up until maybe like 31, 32, my life was all about, you know, just working to have fun on the weekends. And it's one of my one of my regrets. Because I wish I'd have put the motherfucking work in at the t- at the time. You know what I mean? I would have enjoyed my life a lot different if I'd have put the work in at the time. And I think that's why I work so hard now. I like, I wish I would have put the work in at the time. Like, well, I mean that and been and, and made better decisions. <laughs> like, you know, up until now, I'd say up until like maybe two years ago, I got caught up in a lot of dumb shit just by association with people. But I tell you what, man, that financial freedom thing, not giving up on that. I don't like the idea of being broke, especially when I can do something about it. I don't like the idea of having just enough to get by. You know, I, I'm old and I'm at the point I can do something about it. You know, I don't like the idea that I'm not where I want to be financially. And I have no one to blame but myself. <laughs> so until... Either A, I win the hit the lotto, or B, you know what I mean? I come into some real money, I'm gonna keep getting up and I'm gonna keep working at the stream of mine. And no one's gonna tell me different. Because let me tell you something about dreams or, you know, and ambitions and things you wanna accomplish. Quitting's the easy part. It's easy to go back to bed, it's easy to roll back over. It's easy to say I can't. It's easy to say I don't feel like it. Getting up and working at that motherfucker, that's the hard part. And I'd much rather take the road less travel. I'd much rather do the hard work. I'm at that point now. Like, I'd rather do the difficulty that most people will not do. I'd rather miss out on the parties. Like, I'm I'm at that point where I'm ready for the next step and whatever the fuck that is. (laughs) Like... But I also don't expect nobody else to make that sacrifice. I don't ask that of other people. (laughs) But me, I'm getting up in the morning and I'm going to go to work. I'm getting up and I'm going to make something of myself. I'm getting up and I'm like, man, look, my mom's a lunch lady. At some point, she ain't going to be able to do that job no more. You know, my daughter's side, my, my daughter's mama's side of the family, them folks don't make a lot of money. They be on a lot of bullshit. You know, I'm no good to my daughter broke. Or in an orange jumpsuit, which is why I left Georgia in the first place. I'm no good to nobody if I'm in jail. <laughs> like, I'm no good to nobody if I'm behind bars. So, I'm no good to nobody if I don't have money. And I know women hate when niggas say that. Like, you know, y'all make everything about money. Listen, if you ain't got no money as a man, you might as well be laying in the ditch somewhere. And I know it's not always about that. It's about your presence and other shit. But I'm telling you, 
these bills coming back to back like that Drake song, and it is no joke. And if you are not, one thing I've learned, like as of this year, if you are not on your feet every single second to work toward beating that shit, you won't, you will never get ahead of it. Because even when you trying to make, like, I don't know, like I've I've learned to become a money machine at this point. Like I've learned as a man, right? And I don't know if this is male exclusive, but it feels male exclusive. So just follow me here for a second. If you are not on your feet every single second, if that check is not big enough to cover every single expense, you know what I mean? If you are not up every chance, like, okay, every waking moment, if you're not like a part of something that's going to better something else, like meaning like, okay, you're father you're home with your child you're doing what you can to look out for him you're trying to make your son a better man you're trying to you know show your daughter that you know that this is what love looks like you know what i mean you're trying to be there for your mother that did everything you could you know that she could to, to, to make sure you came out to be a decent person my mom did everything she could to make sure i was a decent fucking person like there are times I want to act like my daddy and th- my mom's side of my brain goes off of my head and she's just like, don't do it. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, if I was all my dad in, on my side of you, the only thing that makes my dad not as crazy as it could be is the fact that he's old. If my dad was my age, you all be in for it. But my mother's side of my brain tells me not to act on the bullshit that the dad's side of my brain tells me to do. <laughs> like... But I digress, right? What I'm saying is every waking moment as a man, if you have the ability, if you have the time, if you have the space, you know what I mean? Because I I feel like when it comes to this being man shit, life ain't fair. But I mean, that's another topic for another time. That's just my personal belief. I've seen women believe the same thing from their end. If anything, life is not fair for none of us. But I'm just saying as far as a man... If you are not going to be of use, you might as well move out the way. (laughs) If you're not going to stand in front of some shit and protect some shit, you might as well move out the way. If you're not working every single moment, and I'm, look, I'm not, even when it comes to paying all the bills, right? I don't like how the internet spends it, but I do think that's a very honorable thing for a man to be able to take care of everything in the house. You know, I just think you can't give that shit to every single woman. But again, I digress. If you are not working toward whatever goal it is every time your feet hit the floor <laughs> listen i wake up at two in the morning to get some water probably fix myself a little bit of breakfast or whatever and i'm up trying to figure this shit out at two in the morning tomorrow i'll probably go lift weights i'm up trying to be a better person at two in the morning and i don't know how to quit i don't know how to shut it off i, I don't know how to shut it off I mean, rolling back in bed would be the easy part. Rolling back in bed, it would be like, you know, let's just go back to sleep. It's not that big a deal. Like, you know, you 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 do all right. You you work hard enough. Listen, if the bank account don't reflect that, then it don't matter. It doesn't matter. If you're not ahead of your finances, if you're not comfortable, because at some point, like as a man, like like let's say you break your motherfucking leg, <laughs> nigga, your wife and your girlfriend love you. But she can't handle the weight by herself. <laughs> and a broken leg take about two months to heal. I'm just saying, like, I know motherfuckers don't think like that. But at, but at some point, push going to come to shove. And you're going to find out what type of woman you really with. <laughs> like, I guess that's why it, it agitates me to see niggas just be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to pay bills for a motherfucker. Just give it to any old girl. Man, listen, I don't give a fuck how much you set this shit up at some point you're gonna go through something and you're gonna f- see what type of woman you are living with what tragedy is gonna strike i don't give a fuck how good of a man you are or how how well you set your shit up or how much you prepare tragedy is gonna strike you at some point and you're gonna find out what exactly what type of bitch you are sharing the house with but yeah man i don't know how to give up i i mean and i'm not trying to John Cena, y'all, but I'm saying like I don't know how to quit some of this shit. Like, what's what's the option if I roll back in bed to just take life lying down? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> like, I don't I don't know how to just bitch up to life. I and I maybe that's my problem. I'm not gonna be like, oh well, you know it's all good, it's okay. You know, you you do enough. <laughs> you, 
Nigga, if I let me put it this way, if I didn't have to sleep, I wouldn't. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, I, I'm telling man, I could really be at this motherfucker. Really, just if I didn't have to sleep, I would not. I'd be working at it every single day.